let us now study about the fraction the phenomenon of bending of light around sharp edges of opaque objects and the encroachment of light within the geometrical shadow called as diffraction now diffraction is exhibited both by longitudinal as well as transverse waves examples of longitudinal waves are like sound waves the diffraction in case of sound waves is very very obvious around us for example imagine there is like a door here and there is a door somewhere here and then a door somewhere here so these three are not along a straight line so suppose a person from say a room 1 call as r1 as room 1 and r2 as room 2 and r3 as room 3 suppose a person from room 1 makes some sound for example thing some music has been played then here r1 and r3 are not aligned properly there is some wall between r1 and r3 and what happens is light would hit room r2 light would diffract here and go to the room r3 so this bending of light is called as diffraction diffraction case of sound waves is very obvious that is because of its wavelength now we know that the human audible range is from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz we translate this in terms of wavelength the corresponding wavelengths would be 17 meter to 17 millimeter so whenever an obstacle or an object is of this dimension then the wave would diffract. Around us, many objects like door, fan, walls, these objects have dimensions that is length of this range only. That is why we find diffraction to be very very common around us. The diffraction is not so common with light. That is because to observe diffraction, what is required is the obstacle's dimension to be comparable to the wavelength of light. The wavelength of light is the order of few thousand angstroms or few micrometers. So, if the object is of that dimension, then you can observe diffraction. For example, the wavelength of red color is around 6000 angstrom or it is around 0.6 micrometer. So, if objects are of this dimension, then you can observe diffraction. So let us understand what the definition of diffraction is meant here by some examples of it. Let us consider that there is a wall and then if we assume that there is an obstacle in front of the wall, say like this, this is called the obstacle A and B example think of a plank of wood if somewhere here a source of light is placed and then if light are parallel rays from far away source then what to expect is if you assume light to be like rays then we expect light to be present only in this region this is what we expect to see so there will be light everywhere here but light will not be the shadow of AB. Now this region corresponding to a point opposite to A we call as A dash and a point opposite to B we call as B dash. Now this region is called as geometrical shadow. It is called as geometrical shadow because the concept of ray itself is a geometrical concept. If we treat light to be like a ray, then the region A dash B should be dark. But since light behaves like a wave also, at the edges light would diffract, light would bend here. So instead of being dark here, light would bend around the edges and then the darkness restricted or is shortened and what we see is 
you would say light would encroach into this region the actual darkness will not be along a dash b dash rather it will be somewhere say p to q so only region p to q would be dark and these would be bright this encroachment of light into geometrical shadow region is called as diffraction we can take one more example to understand better way in this case let us assume that we have small opening or a big opening in this case let us again call this as a and then b corresponding point opposite to a we call as a dash and a corresponding point opposite to b we call it as b dash again if we have a source of light which is very far away such that parallel rays of light fall on this if light falls on this light would not be reflected so light from here would not enter into the screen even this would not enter into the screen but suppose light falls like this so these rays would fall would form an image on the screen so these are the region where we get light on the screen and let us call the region above this that is we call this as point a dash this is point a dash this point b dash not Now the region above A dash is the geometrical shadow region and the region below B dash will also be geometrical shadow region. This is possible or we get this kind of shadow region only if you assume light to be like a ray but we know that light also exhibits wave properties because of which light would bend at the edges and then light encroach into the geometrical shadow region so the brightness would be expanded beyond a dash and b dash in fact the light would be between points say a to q this encroachment of light into the geometrical and region is called as diffraction something interesting happens here that is if the width of this region is made very very small so the width is made very very small then on the screen we get a pattern which should be alternate dark and then bright bands it happens only if the width of the region through which light enters is very very small there are many examples of diffraction around us as seen here since it's a very very narrow region we get dark and then bright regions here we get a dark spot bright region diffraction is something which is very very common around us if the obstacle very very small like the path for light to enter is very very small or even here the particles atmosphere would act like diffractors in here also so there are many examples where you can see a bright and a dark spot you can see rings around the sun even this is because of diffraction 